Welcome back, you karate carrot tops. Today on Karate Corner, we are watching the much requested No Retreat, No Surrender 2. Which, if you remember the first one, it went something like this. It, uh, <laughs> it sure was. It sure was. The second one was requested by patron Sancho de Darth. So thank you. Uh, I also couldn't find a good copy online, and I had to buy a DVD from Germany. It took a while, but here we are. So, let's go watch this bizarre film, because this is Red Eye Reviews. We start with these dudes getting peppered with paintballs. They hurt so bad that they all fall asleep. We cue our title screen with all of its pixels. Uh, somebody must have designed that logo in MS Paint. But we meet Scott, an American who comes to Thailand. He's the height of fashion, folks. He's smuggling a couple of ferrets under that hat, I can only assume. But he heads to a boxing gym to look for his friend. I also think this is our first Cynthia Rothrock movie on the channel. But we see them fighting, uh, presumably over that large bowl of fruit. I don't know, maybe our girl is low on potassium and needs a pick-me-up. Excuse me, sir. My friend teach me Taekwondo. Thai boxing, not the same. Also, fun fact, this scene was filmed in a genuine Muay Thai gym in Bangkok, but because the sport has, like, taboos against women, the gym's owner refused to let Cynthia use the ring. He actually wanted her to fight on the floor instead, but once she showed that she is a legit, highly trained martial artist, they agreed she could use the ring, but that she couldn't pass through the ropes like a man would, so she had to roll under the ropes to enter and exit. It's a little weird, but I don't know. At least we got the shot. We see Scott. Scott is such a nice guy. Tell him to try his mother. He's just picking fights with strangers. All right, that that was awesome. It was so awesome. He turned into a totally different guy, but it was still awesome. But not finding his friend, he heads out. He rents out the sketchiest hotel room fitted with moaning neighbors. It's great, but he calls his girlfriend. She's actually the main reason he's here in the first place. Miss Wing, this is Frank Dobbles, assistant registrar of Oberlin College calling. Your shall we say somewhat scandalous relationship. Wow, he is a master of dialects. It's no wonder he got the role. He goes to meet her, and the best part is that it's very clear the movie couldn't afford to have a real performance in the movie. So they just kind of awkwardly film one from across the water, and they just hope that we won't notice that. It's amazing. Hi, honey. You like them? They're beautiful. But they have dinner. It's like a battle of who's worse. Uh, who can make us cringe harder? My dad's a shareholder here. You must be doing pretty good. I thought you said Vietnamese people were poor. I ordered some of my dad's favorite dishes. What's all this stuff? They're tiger's balls. Real tiger's balls? Maybe I like this one better. It's special. It's definitely him. It's him by a mile. She's not, she's bad. She's not even close. Great, I love this stuff. I have it all the time when I go to Chinese restaurants. God dear. Plus a monkey spring. <laughs> So sometime later, he seems to have gotten drunk. He decides to take his lady of culture back to his F shack. It's, it's super classy. Hey, is there any way we can make this scene darker? I, you know, just to save us from having to watch any of it? That'd be great. Cut over to the runner-up for best actor, the girl's dad. Hello, this is Wing Yang Kim speaking. Hello. Hello? Is there anybody there? Hello? Are you still there? What happened? Damn it! Wow! That was amazing! I believe someone was on the other side of that phone, don't you guys? But she reveals that she isn't poor, which 
I, I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty obvious, but to him, it was not. My family isn't poor. They got a lot of money. And cue some sketchy dudes. <laughs> Imagine getting your ass kicked by a guy who makes that kind of noise. I would take this interaction to the grave. But she does get kidnapped. Scott finds her license. He heads to her house to find out that the whole frickin' family got murdered too. He shows the cop her ID. The cop's like, that's not suspicious at all. And uh, he arrests him. Scott shows us, though, that he's a classy lad. You know, the class he has shown us the entire movie. I'm an American. Hey, you gotta read me my rights. I wanna see a lawyer. I'm gonna sue your ass. All this freaking country when Mr. Wing gets through with you. He, he just doubles down on the white trash. Shows, I'll own this country. He handled it really well. Once they learn that he didn't actually kill those people, they still decide to deport him. He manages to avoid the cops, though, by stealing a bike and doing a series of sick jumps. The cops are so amazed, they're like, huh, is, is that evil Knievel? My God, what a guy. So wanting to get his lady back, he does the obvious thing. He heads to a nightclub. You know a guy named Mac Jarvis? Who? Big guy, about 200 pounds, 6'3", American. Where he runs into his friend that he just so happened to be looking for. You still pissing on the wrong kid? What's the matter, big man? Can't put him down? <laughs> That's a good way to get yourself hurt, kid. Let's go get a beer. He shares that his lady was taken, and he's looking for Liam Neeson for help. But he can't find Liam, so he has to settle for this the discount Han Solo guy instead. It's not Indiana. These things have a habit of working themselves out. Hey, cool it, farm boy. Don't drive the knife in any farther than... Well, thank God those guys interrupted you before you completely messed your lines up. But they get in a big fight. He cracks this dude with a watermelon. He burns him, you know, just for giggles. He, hey, he's a creative fighter, all right? He's he just cracking eggs in people's eyes. But they interrogate a survivor to learn about his girl, and then this happens. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's pause just for a second. Uh, what do you think happens next? Because whatever you thought was going to happen, you, know, you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> like, what was the table gonna do? You know, besides like create a ton of deadly splinters all over the place. Come on, come on, let's book. Okay, they go to Han Solo's hideout. He says a bunch of shit that doesn't make any sense. Besides, what would people say if I let some cherry ass go bopping off in a bush by himself? And they killed everyone in her family. Her father escaped. How do you know? <laughs> All along, I thought you were a brain surgeon. Anybody with brains enough to need surgery would have been out of here a long time ago. By the way, the last one is so good, I couldn't resist. I made it a shirt. It's on the merch store. Oh my God, it's so great. I already bought one. They go outside. The army is there. How? We don't know. We don't know. We run away. A helicopter saves us. How? Again, no questions. Okay? They didn't want to bother us with those details. We don't get them. But we see it's Cynthia. You know, she knows how to fly a helicopter. She knew Han was in trouble, which I guess makes her Chewbacca. I'm, I'm sorry, Cynthia. I don't make the rules. They talk a lot in the helicopter. It doesn't matter at all. The best part is just that he looks right at the camera and then, like, doesn't know what to do. Welcome to Cambodia. Where's the sign? About 150 miles back. Yo, thanks for the warning. They land. Turns out a helicopter is very loud, so they are immediately caught. My boy. Oh no. Oh no. But we know the leader. It's Lando Calrissian, folks. I I don't know how this became a Star Wars movie. It just has. We share some laughs with him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get attacked and it's it's a lot. It's like it's almost too much.
And with everybody dead, we decide to make camp very close by. We, we don't ask any questions about who attacked us or where they came from. Are they heading here now? Nope. We don't care. We don't know. We cut to some bad guys, and it's the Russians, because it's always the Russians. And they have our girl. You are a good fighter. I give you a chance to fight for your life against me. They also fight some random guy. He tries to, like, crouching tiger, hidden ball grab Ivan Drago. But he fails. His punishment? A pit of crocodiles. Again, no questions. Stay with me, folks. Cut back to our gang. You hear that? It's a bunch of Buddhist monks. They should be able to give us directions. They find some Buddhists. They morph into a mobile ropes course. They kick our heroes' asses. <laughs> but we break out. The leader has a gun. How did he get it? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to. Stop thinking so much. All that matters is that Cynthia gets captured. She gets taken to the Russians, too. While there, some dude looks at her lady parts like they're Egyptian hieroglyphs, and we cut back over to our heroes climbing a waterfall. You heard me. They grappling hooked up a waterfall. If you're asking why, you clearly have not been paying attention. These back roads are a bitch. Somewhere else in the world, they decide that dad needs to die. But how can we achieve this? Sewer Ninja. That's how. He's dead now. It doesn't affect the story at all. It doesn't have to. Our heroes make it to the camp. They set up all kinds of traps. Booby traps. Uh, butt traps. That's <laughs> so stupid. The next morning, okay? We blindfold those ladies. We take them to a place they've already been to. Cynthia insults them. You're a cross between a jackass and a snake. Enough. Is that you I smell? Or crocodile shit? Which is great. We trigger the traps. They are insanely effective. <laughs> so good. Oh, Peter Petrelli. Sorry. Uh, I, I just realized that he looks like Peter Petrelli from Heroes. Ed, sorry. Okay, moving on. Han Solo rescues the princess. They couldn't figure out how to show us that, so they just don't. Mac! I don't, it doesn't matter. They're safe. That's all that's important. Everything is going great, folks. But too great. It's going too great. Ah! Ah, Cynthia's dead now. I, why? I don't know. I'm asking. I literally, I, I don't know. I, what did that add to the movie? I don't know. But the two main people, they fight. They enter this building. We see that despite this being a secret mountain military base, somebody had the design sense to add potted plants, and it really brings the room together. At one point, he helps Peter Petrelli give birth to a desk. <laughs> I personally would have opted for a C-section, but he's a braver man than me. He beats Ivan Drago. He throws him in the crocodile pit, which we all saw coming. And all the while, his shoestring headband stays intact. Scott then approaches the dead body of the lady who sacrificed herself to save him, and he says this. She's gone, Scott. Let's get the hell out of here, all right? He doesn't care at all. <laughs> it's over. The movie's over. We're going to find a way out of this jungle. Let's catch our breath. Okay. Let's settle down. Over on Red Eye Reacts. You're wasting your breath. He's not bilingual. What's your problem, lady? I wasn't asking you. You sound so happy to insult her. Oh, I want somebody to look at me like Cynthia looks here. Like a like a high school pot dealer. I, I guess that's what I want. Where can we meet to, uh, you know? Have dinner. Oh, I love making it to you. Me too. 
Anyway, money can't buy happiness. That's probably that damn pimp again. What's this murder business? How'd you know? Wrong. Not everyone. Her father escaped. How do you know? How do I know? Because I have him under this tarp! I'm just kidding, it's just a bunch of guns. <laughs> Cambodians party hard! Chuck, 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 chuck! What are you doing here, you witch? If you were expecting Santa Claus, you're in for a big surprise. Or, listen, Blue Eyes. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you two know each other? Yeah, we met at your old... Hold on, hold on. Let me fix this scene. I want to make it a bit more realistic. You beat it in Buddha. Well, the I... The frog's ass watertight? That is it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Let's grow. Let's get big. I want to do it. Hit the like button. Leave some comments. A huge shout out to Sancho de Darth. You picked today's movie. I think I went crazy while watching it. So that's going to be fun to figure out. If you want the power to do what he did and what the other patrons do, head on over to my Patreon page. Sign up for the power to do that. Link down below. If you just want to support me, links down there too. Discord channel below. The merch store with our new amazing shirt is also down below in the links. I will see you all next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. While there, some dude looks at her lady parts like they're Egyptian hieroglyphs.